This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the classification of organic compounds. So we'll start with the classification of the alcohols. Our first example is propanol. Propanol is a primary alcohol. It's classified as a primary alcohol because it has a primary carbon atom. The primary carbon atom is the carbon atom that's bonded to the functional group and it's also bonded to one other carbon atom. Our next example is propantuol, which is a secondary alcohol. Propantuol is classified as a secondary alcohol because it has a secondary carbon atom. The secondary carbon atom is the carbon atom that's bonded to the functional group and it's also bonded to two other carbon atoms. And our last example is 2-methylpropantuol, which is a tertiary alcohol. 2-methylpropantuol has a tertiary carbon atom. A tertiary carbon atom is the carbon atom that's bonded to the functional group and it's also bonded to three other carbon atoms. Next we look at the classification of the halogenoalkanes. Our first example is 1-chloropropane, which is a primary halogenoalkane. 1-chloropropane has a primary carbon atom. It's the carbon atom that's bonded to the functional group and it's also bonded to one other carbon atom. Our next example is 2-chloropropane, which is a secondary halogenoalkane. 2-chloropropane has a secondary carbon atom. It's the carbon atom bonded to the functional group and it's also bonded to two other carbon atoms. And finally, we have 2-chloro-2-methylpropane, which is a tertiary halogenoalkane. 2-chloro-2-methylpropane has a tertiary carbon atom, which is the carbon atom bonded to the functional group, and it's also bonded to three other carbon atoms. And finally, we have the classification of the amines. Our first example is propanamine, which is a primary amine. A primary amine has a primary nitrogen atom, which is bonded to one other carbon atom. Our next example is N-methylpropanamine, which is a secondary amine. A secondary amine has a secondary nitrogen atom, which is bonded to two other carbon atoms. And our last example is NN-dimethylpropanamine, which is a tertiary amine. A tertiary amine has a tertiary nitrogen atom, which is bonded to three other carbon atoms. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.